Welcome back to Let's Play <coughs> Room Back Rail Tunes. Why is it almost <coughs> every single time I start recording, I always have to clear my throat? It's, happens all the time. I mean, not every single time, but it's fairly consistent. How long has it been? Rune Factory! Second, it's now the 10th. So, um, a little over a week. Also, um, Did I upload the pre yeah, I uploaded the previous part last night, didn't I? Pretty sure. It's just I didn't pay attention <laughs> to the video. Didn't pay attention to the video description either, because you know, by the time I realized I've got once again to add the links to those polls to decide who a dean should marry, there's like already like uh uh like 13, 14, 12, or whatever amount of views is like that's probably all the views it's gonna get, and then it kind of almost doubled, and I was like, that's surprising. So not tend to get many views. This Let's Play kind of felt like it was falling behind on me, and it kind of just went up for whatever reason. So like, currently the Project Zero Let's Play is the one with the least amount of views. And I'm, you know, speaking of which, I recorded for that the other day. It's like, this is my schedule right now, basically. It's like, I'm recording for this today. I'll be uploading Project Zero today as well. And tomorrow I'll be uploading Digimon World Next Order. And the day after that, I'll be recording for Digimon World Next Order. And then on that same day, I'll be uploading Little Busters, which is the final part of Rin's route, like her first ending, because she has two endings. Basically, you gotta get all the yellow rats before you can get a true ending. She's got the true ending of the novel for my Blue Skull Dragon VN channel. So, then I'd have recording for that the next day, right? And then, because of the way Project Zero, you know, a record session for that one, I was originally thinking just two parts, end up being three parts. So, by the time that one comes around next to uh, recording board, they'll probably line up with all these let's plays and be back to back. Days of recording once again. Man, seriously, our record session for Project Zero was a nightmare, man. Not just because it was nightmare difficulty on the final drop. Well, actually, yeah, because it was nightmare difficulty on the final drop. The hardest difficulty, right? Checkpoint system in that game are trash. Basically, you play, I was playing as Yuri, you start the drop, you gotta basically just go from the start to this particular place. But I didn't do that. I took, you know, a few detours here and there, you know, to maximize the points to find the S plus ranking, you know, as well as clear it on the night minute for me. And so, first video 50 or so minutes, just fine. And then when the first 10 minutes of the part that follows, which is just basically continuing on for all that, I get a game over and have to go through 50 minutes worth of gameplay again which I mostly off-screen, but still. So the record session in general ends up being like 2 hours and 40 odd minutes. It sucks. But anyways, enough rambling. You may have noticed I haven't off-screened as many days as I uh, originally planned. Oh yeah, now I remember. I was gonna off-screen until I get to the 5th, well, 6th actually. But then I realized while playing, you know, uh, the game off screen that it's the fourth and the net still has at least one more cutscene so yeah that's why I'm on screen this day. Good morning. Let's give today everything we've got. I can't remember if I already gave him his prize. Sonji you still continue to fight monsters huh? um, um please be careful out there I wouldn't want you to end up hurt. Also, when I was off screen going for a few days, I mean, sure, it was a little over a week ago, and I can't remember the details. But there were at least two characters that commented on Sonja being pregnant. So it's just typical, that happens off screen. Yeah, 
I did give him his prize before I saved the game. I did vaguely remember that. Good morning. I'm pleased to see you looking well. I read on a book of a master swordsman. Do good. Get free thrust on one lunch. I tried to attempt it myself. However, I am still far too skilled. Good morning. Good morning. When you look up in the sky while you're walking, it makes things look totally different. You should try it, Sanji. And then walk into someone because, you know, you're not paying attention. How do you know I was hungry? You're so thoughtful. Bad number one. What is that? Oh yeah, I made that for a net. Now I'm remembering that. Good morning. That's What's a favorite. Your best today? What's up? Have some free time? I'll be cleaning you in there. I was only half joking. I mean, it always looks so clean. I mean, even when they're like, you know, how Sierra's room's a mess or something like that, it looked perfectly fine compared to my room. My room's a freaking mess. Needs to be organized better. It's like there's no room because my guitars and my keyboard are like basically make it so that there's barely any walking space. You could take maybe two steps and that's it. Good morning. Good morning. The day is full of promise, isn't it? I'm always tripping and falling down, but I've never once stumbled while carrying my little oh dear. Wonder why that is. What requests we got? Got one from James and Alina. Let's go with the Elena one because you know she's only up for a certain amount of time. Oh, you know, before actually doing that, we gotta go down here instead and get that on next seat. I've got to hang out at Wendy's place for the gob. Guess I do. I mean, I will, you know, be in the usual place anyway, you know? <laughs> That's the usual order of things, you know? Talk to Electra, Merwin, and Beatrix, and, you know, Gerard, Quinn, Kelsey, and maybe Barkus in between Pandora. You know, the usual schedule. Come on, let's go. I mean, we've seen this scene before, but we're playing a Sondra, so. That's the only real difference. <laughs> I don't think the dialogue's gonna be that different if at all. Because, you know, we're just kind of there. <laughs> hey, Annette, did you consider that matter? That matter? I've been telling Annette that she should move you to Benvalu. Really? We'd love to have you. So, what do you think? No pressure, like. It's basically like the equivalent of saying, hey, move to this other country, just so we can hang out more, you know. In the end, I decided not to. Huh? Oh, but why? After we've met again and everything. Yeah. I like this island, everything's so nice. But I still love the village of Tramboli. I mean, where would she live, Dean? I guess there is that one room. But then no other random NPCs would be able to stay at the end then, wouldn't they? Because then it'd be completely full at all times. But I still love the village of Tramboli. <sighs> Do you hate me now, Annette? I mean, maybe she could stay at the mansion, but... Well, yeah, actually, there is that one spare room, isn't there? <gasps> of course not. Don't be ridiculous. I love you, Eddie. It's just that you're trying to guilt trip me here. I can see through your plan. Then I bet you're in love with someone in Tramboli, aren't you? Okay, that's definitely different, and Net and Dean would definitely not say something like that in this scenario. So, the dialogue is a little different. Ah? <gasps> um. Whoa. Hit the nail on the head. Huh? Is that it? Are you in love with the protagonist yeah. of. Uh, what was it? Imperial Frontier? Who is the protagonist in that game, anyway? I'm not sure. 
Oh, well, that sells it then. I can still see you in any time. I'm sorry, I said too much. But from now on, as soon as I finish my work, I'll come out and hang out with you anyway. I promise, I don't promise. Okay, I'll be waiting. I have a uh, milk tea ready. <laughs> you were a lousy at cooking, Wenny, in, in the old days. What What's that guy doing making tea? And now I'm a maid. Things have changed. <laughs> How about you, Annette? As for that, I've got a little better at it. Fine, then we'll have a cooking contest. What? No way! Uh, what am I gonna do for a cooking contest? I I'll have to ask you this to teach me, but even so... You know, for whatever reason, when I I saw this name, because I decided to, you know, uh, look at what these characters look like, it's actually a uh, girl. I'll have her appear on the screen here. You know, also seeing Annette's, you know, uh, her character portraits in Frontier makes it look very different. I'm not sure what Frontier even looked like. Was it, you know, 3D like this, or was it um, it more of a kind of, you know, like Rune Factory 4 vibe? Where everyone was kind of a bit more chibi looking. But had you know, cat portraits pop up when they talk. Feels like this game is like uh, an exception of sorts. See, they do have a spare room. The same descri uh, scripture that was in the church. It's that, isn't it? No, it's just that. Okay. And I'm kind of curious to hear, you know, about Rune Factory Frontier, but the, the problem is, you know, I think I found it online, it's not expensive, but it's just, it's a Wii game, man. I don't have a working Wii setup, you know. And why'd they have to call it the Wii anyway? It's such a stupid name. And then they had the freaking sequel to it, the Wii U. And it was PU, because it didn't sell very well to the Wii, but I mean, that's to be expected, you know, the Wii was like a smash hit, you know, a lot of casual people, it's like, even old people could play, you know, but they're not exactly going to buy the next console, so they kind of screw themselves there. Good morning. And then they made the Switch, and you know, it's been a bit more successful than, well, a hell of a lot more successful than the Wii U. I never even owned the Wii U. Ask Merwin to let me clean the path, but she got angry at me. I just want to do it once. Thank you so much! Now what sort of accessory should I make with this? <laughs> oh. Hey. Morning. The accessories that my lady ordered haven't arrived yet. So annoying when something you need just never seems to come in. Relatable. Or worse, you know, it never comes in because it was lost and you have to freaking contact them about it. Can I really have this? I won't give it back to you even if you ask for it, you know. Good morning! I wonder what we'll be having for lunch! It's so fun to think about! I suppose I have to occasionally act like a real girl. There are times when I think, oh, what could really happen if I didn't? And I find myself in gun before I know what happens. Good morning. Yep. It's perfect. They're still there. Wait, is anyone else? No. Pandora is on the move. Bark is on the move. They'll be there as soon as they leave. Oh, hi. Good morning. I do hope you'll have a good day. I've just heard of a form of exercise called yoga. <laughs> Apparently, it makes you look 20 years younger. Hmm. I wonder if there's a yoga instructor around here somewhere. Is there a yoga instructor in the Rune Factory morning. universe? In any of the games? Sanji, you and me. <laughs> I want to be one too. 
morning. I hate my name, Kelsey. It sounds like a girl's name. It's probably a unisex name. It definitely has that kind of sound. Who's gonna arrive first? Pandora or Bacchus? Pandora's coming up the hill! And so is Aunt Bacchus and James! Good morning! You're looking well today. Hmm, I've heard there are places where it's daylight all day long and those places I can't all day long. Really? How do they know where they sleep and where to get up? <laughs> You're right, how do they know? Maybe they don't give a shit. They just wake up when they pretty, you know, do like waking up. You know exactly what I like and you got it for me, didn't you? Thanks. That really makes me happy. The way you give gifts and you kind of looks like they slip and it's gonna fall over, it's just so silly looking. Hey, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? That's how young folk ought to be! Yeah. What's that yeah. that kid looks pretty old fashioned for a dummy like that. Good job. Hmm. Your visit does not displease me. Behold, I will transform Venival into my citadel once I have known the world. Which will never happen, but uh, you are the blueprints. Mm, Pandora, you're terrible at drawing. What did you say? Dare you, you understand nothing of art. See, there is my throne, here's my ballroom, was that the bath? I mean, two very different things there. Jewels possess magic. I will take possession of this one. Have you taken a lot of uh, look at the flower beds in front of the church? I'm in charge of the flowers there. How pretty this flower garden may be small, but it's so lovely. It kind of has that look where you expect it to be like uh, either inside or around the place. Now oh, you can have an emery flower of so many. It's a favorite flower. Glad to know you, Sanja. Morning! It's going to be another great day today! Nice weather, huh? Now I think she's just gonna have generic dialogue for y'all. I don't think there's any more cutscenes. Pumpkin tarts. You sure I can have this? How oh, fun interesting. Is you've got Annette and Candy and Tamfer, they're basically guest characters. It seems every room for the game, presumably past the first game, has at least some guest characters from past games. You know, Annette definitely has the most voice acted lines of the three. Tamfer first also has, you know, outside- it's weird, because in her cutscene, she doesn't really have any lines. You could say the same for Annette, maybe, to be honest. But, you know, outside of that, when you talk to them, they voice their lines more often than not. Whereas with Candy, she never does. She has very few voice lines. It's like, if you give her a gift, she doesn't, you know, uh, voice act or respond to it like Annette or Tabford. In the last town I stopped in, I saw a dancer! She was beautiful and tall and wearing pretty clothes. What a woman! What is that cat I called again? I mean, the, I remember I was browsing ages ago through the Wing Factory Wiki to see if, if there was a character that fit that description. What was her name? Alicia.
I think I remember it's just like, you know how those fandom wikis have comments on the pages? Whoa, Molly, 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 careful. Don't disconnect anything there. You are known to be a very clumsy cat. Well, just stand there. But anyways, I can't remember what the comment was. But... There was something about them having preferences with different characters. I guess they uh, prefer uh, the more youthful looking characters. <laughs> I don't know why they'd say that. But yeah, Alicia is definitely one of those more mature looking characters. It's weird with Rune Factory games, you know. They have a kind of mixed vibe, where some of them look like they'd be too young to get married, then there's ones that's kind of in the middle where it's like, okay. And then, usually the ones that look like mature, like proper mature, usually aren't even marriage candidates. Anything else to say? Nice weather, huh? I've got some super secret info to tell you. Sanja. My birthday is winter 4th, so I hope you get me something good. <laughs> That laugh. I saw a beautiful flower when I was making my rounds. I wonder what it was called. It was growing on the side of the road. I don't know what it's called, but it was blooming with all its might. I mean, if you could give a bit more of a description, like what colors it was, we could figure it out. When you only rarely get a chance to sleep in late, don't you get excited the night before? I get so pumped up that I can't sleep and it all goes to waste! I've got some super secret info to tell you! Again? My birthday is winter 4th, so I hope you get me something good! <laughs> Most cadres don't even say their birthdays. Ah, so toasty and warm! Ah, <laughs> so toasty and warm! What a description of the weather. Toasty and warm. Guess what? In the last town I stopped in, I saw a dancer. She was beautiful and tall and wearing pretty clothes. What a woman! I mean, I, <laughs> I remember when I, you know, first, uh, you know, looked up what this character was and I, like, added it. <laughs> The description, well, not the description, on the video in text, I just, I just I, you know, brought up her line of what a woman. It's like, what a woman indeed. <laughs> and that's the kind of woman that would seduce most men. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's to talk to Joe. Joe Schmo. up already. This house boat is all pride and joy. Um, wait. Did I forget? Oh wait, no, I made open the card for you as well. I remember now. Oh, this is for me? Don't mind if I do. So that just leaves Elena and Sierra to talk to. Got any lines? I saw a beautiful flower when I was making my rounds. I wonder what it was called. It was growing on the side of the road. I don't know what it's called, but it was blooming with all its might. You have one more chance. I love fruits. Isn't it amazing how they can be so sweet without having to add any sugar? Fruits are nice. Nice weather, huh? When you only rarely get a chance to sleep in late, don't you get excited the night before? I get so pumped up that I can't sleep and it all goes to waste! Well, that You only get to see her once a month. You might as well talk to her multiple times to get more out. You know, whereas Candy and Tabfra are basically on the island once a week. So you get plenty of opportunities. Just haven't, you know, talked to Candy at all on screen in 
is because, you know, I off screen most of the days. Let's go, man. So. lively as usual. Can you share some of your energy? How's that going to do? He seems fine. Good to hear. Here's a little something to celebrate his recovery. That was ages ago. Thanks, I will be sure to use it. <laughs> really learned a lot. Make sure you take care of it. So you get Axe Rescue's level S. Simply for reporting back that Echo is doing A-OK. I'm so tired. Good night. Uh, make it out. Whoa! I've been wanting this! Thanks! You're a lifesaver! hear about my request on a building I've been waiting for you. <coughs> yes, if I can help you. <laughs> yes. Ah, welcome. Ah, wonderful, I mean. I want to ask your opinion on what a woman like. What's your question? You can just tell me what you like, Sergeant. Yeah. What's your favorite pen? There are so many different kinds. I want to know what's popular. Ah, it's this old <laughs> request. I can't remember if you could get this request as a bean as well, or maybe I've already done this request as Sonja. I don't know, I can't remember. I definitely remember this request. Bring me whatever one you decide on. Thanks a lot. Alright, I'll go look for one. Or rather, make one, because you can't just find them. I mean, maybe you can find them in some treasure. But, I mean, relying on it that way would not be a great idea. Kind of pendant Sonja likes most. So it has to be a pendant, clearly. Is he gonna wear it? Sometimes, you know, when these requests have it, so you have to give them something like that, you just randomly put it on. And what am I doing? I've probably got some pendants in the old chest, so, you know, I might not even have to make a new one. Star pendants, tear pendants, earth pendants. Let's go with the tear pendants. It's like, wait, Sanja, if it's your favorite, then why do you never wear it? Because you're not gonna wear this woolly scarf. But it's spring, wouldn't that be too warm? Make even less sense when it gets to summer. This uh, is the pen that I want the most right now. But I will not wear it. See, very tasteful. That was very helpful. Thank you. This is the thank you for helping with my question. So much. And we get a sun pendant. <laughs> a pendant for a pendant. Thanks. 
some corn. Thanks. Peppers. Thanks. Eggplants. Thanks. I've been divine, but I wish there were one place to have fun. Now you can have this pendant I got as a reward for a request. Ooh, this is crazy cute! You have awesome taste! Well, it's James. Technically, you gave that, so... Compliments to James, he's figured out what... Accessories are popular, I guess. So, um, there's not really much else to do, really, is there? Hmm. Well, I could go out to sea again, I guess. That's always one way to pass time. Oh yeah, I was here to... I was completing requests I required. I think cheap cloth, so that's why I'm over here. Any part of the map that has not been... Well, that area hasn't been fully fleshed out, so that area. A little bit there. Get over there. And... Well, there's really not a lot left to uh, uncover, really, is there? Head down this way. Wherever we can find something. Treasure in here? Yes, there always is. You can't attack me, I'm pregnant. Can you imagine that pregnant woman? It's like, gets into a, like, a bit of a fight. So. It's like, you can't. And hit me, I'm pregnant! And then you're like, okay. And then they just get a few cheap shots at me. It's like, haha, you can't hit me back because I'm pregnant, but I can hit you because I don't get to hit What happened to that summer island? And just randomly traveling around. I'm probably gonna have to travel via, you know, uh, uh, is it Vanguard? Is that the name of the dragon? You know, just to uh, get to areas I need to get materials, presumably, when I inevitably run into a request that requires something like that. I'm never happier than when I'm relaxing a home with Sancho. Being married really is wonderful. I guess the shop is closed. I was thinking of working there, but I guess not. 
Thing is, if we work at the inn at this hour, it'll take us to like freaking midnight, what? Good evening. Good evening. The night is still young. Not for long. <laughs> Yep, now it's instantly midnight. So why are you still down here? <laughs> You're still open on this hour, you crazy? Here it goes. What is that instrument? Like, bum, 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 bum. Some kind of organ? Or is it? Oh, what was it called? Ah. Uh... I don't know, I can't remember what that instrument is called. You know, that one where you. It's like a keyboard, but you press it inwards. Oh, what was that called? Damn, I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> Man, Lily's up late, isn't she? Only her and Elena are the only ones awake at this hour. Elena, it makes sense, but for Lily, that's a bit different. Oh, well, let's, uh. Make some usual shit. What is my usual shit I make? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, curry. Oh, 79, we can make it up to level 95, so you know, we can finally try to make chocolate pudding. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So much waste of materials. Ingredients. Yeah, that wasn't so hard now, was it? We only got like six failed dishes. Which we must now consume out of shape. Make some French fries. And what else? That's, that's it, thank you. Business. You know, screw it, I might as well make. What does she like? I think she likes porridge or something like that. Something very simple for Tabfa, why not? Oh wait, no, it's a first day. Hmm. Oh well. If I remember to, I'll be sure to give that to her. If not, doesn't matter. I'll just eat it. Rainies and sunflowers. The boosts. Everything. Well, not everything. Just the boost our carbon. We also have a gift ready for Joseph as well. And off to bed we go. <sighs> so I'm not gonna on screen this whole day. I'm gonna off screen most of it. You know. 
Good morning. Let's give today everything we've got. He alternates between those chairs. You know, it's a shame we can't sit down on chairs. I mean, it feels like it'd be something simpler than just complete points. You know, there's a lot of games where, you know, you can sit down in a chair. There's no point to sit in the chair. It's just something you can do. You'd think that would be a thing you could do, but no. Everyone else can sit in chairs, but not us. Or that people who handle very large sums of money begin to lose their perspective on the true value of money. Losing perspective would be a problem, but I wouldn't mind hearing a reason to handle large sums of money. Honestly, Bismarck looks like he'd work at a bank. I can just picture him, you know, being one of those people dying out and just sat there all day dealing with people that are like, hey, I need to take our money on, you know, but I need money, whatever, you know, one of them. You know, basically working at the bank. Does the Rune Factory Universe even have banks? Thank you so much. The truth is, I, I'm a sucker for these kinds of things. It's just like, no, they don't, and that's part of the reason why everyone's so happy. They haven't lost sight of, you know, being friendly and all that, and become, you know, driven entirely by money. Good morning. And material goods. Well. It's like Mother Free. You know, in that game, everything was all happy until you know, they started expanding, and everyone lost sight of their own ways. And the book of Master Swords went blah blah blah. I said this yesterday and I see it again today, so I cannot be asked to read it twice in one day. Not one part. Good morning. <laughs> hey, you should try this, Sonya. It feels pretty good. Just like when she's pregnant, she should take it easy. We're gonna have the fancy one, I guess. How do you know I was hungry? You're so thoughtful. Good morning. Good morning. The day is full of promise, isn't it? I'm always tripping and falling down, but I've never once stumbled while here. I look at you and I wonder why that means. Morning. Good morning. Let's do our best today. Look so happy. When I see you so happy, it makes me want to get married too, so too. Yeah, sometimes they'll comment on getting married thing. Sometimes to talk about, you know, the whole, you know, have the kid thing. History of the sunken ship. Hmm. Maybe I've already been there. I mean, I've pretty sure I've been almost everywhere on the map at this point. So it'd be like, yes, I will report back on what I discovered. While, well, whilst uh, she was still probably stuck in a demon's body, Good several morning. hundred parts ago. And the basis of house cleaning is to go from outside to in and from top to bottom. If you stick to that, you can really clean so much more effectively. You should try it. Hey, morning. I had some extra fabric, so I made a dust. The electro is delightful. But as the daughter of Lady Beatrix, I feel that there are more civil things already in the light, perhaps. <laughs> a very, like, lady like Can I really have this? I won't give it back to you, even if you ask for it, you know. Good morning! I wonder what we'll be having for lunch! It's so fun to think about! Did you see my request on the bulletin board? I could really use your help. Sure, no problem. Can I hear the details? There's a tale on Finnew Island about a legendary pirate. The pirate sunk a treasure into the ocean, leaving it as a challenge to anyone who fought they could find it. That sounds exciting. Wonderful! The legend only says that the pirate's treasure sunk in the ocean on the eastern corner of something called Angel's Hill. All right, I'll go look for it. I'm kind of going to find that treasure. Oh, I have to actually go there? I don't have a boat, so I need you to find it for me. And get it appraised, presumably. Something grabs the volume is under. There's much I can do, but I'd like to do whatever it is. I'm not going to make the island better for it. 
Well, that's gonna do for this part. I'm gonna off screen the rest of this side quest on this day, I guess. Because. I don't know if I've completed this request before, but you know, I'll be sure to mention what the reward was if I remember it in the next part, which I'll record um, the next in-game day, I guess. So I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.